I'll tell our parents when they've got a question about the sport, I'll say, listen, I've got a really robust quality program index that I look at where we, we look at participation, we look at retention, we look at engagement, we look at competitiveness. I will try to make everything as black and white as I can and try to take the gray out if possible. And one of the things I found in athletics early on is there's a lot of gray and there's a lot of qualitative. So I put numbers to all this stuff. So I, they actually, I take all those things and I take, you know, survey engagement data, I put it on a Likert scale and it spits out a number and we have a ratio that rates our, uh, rates our programs, you know, where are they, they advanced, are they outstanding? Uh, we took it off a model at, I think, uh, AD at Fresno State was using there and tailored it to our situation. So all that to say, I'll tell our parents, hey, we've got this really robust model and I can tell you how the program's performed over the last five years and give you X, Y, and Z about where they're struggling, where they're great. But at its core, if our teams are having success, they work hard, both the players and the coaches. The players and the coaches are enthusiastic about the work that's going on. They hold each other accountable, players and coaches, coaches to coaches, players to players, vice versa. We're resilient. We're able to deal with adversity and we work as a team. And if one of those components is missing, we will still have success, but it won't be state championship success. If two of those components are missing, we probably have a team that's not very good and a culture that's not very good. So if you want to know how I'm judging our coaches and our teams at their core, that acronym, because I think people create core values and they don't become a part of their daily lives. Like this is how I evaluate our teams and our coaches is by our core values. And are we living those out on a daily basis? So it, it's common language here. It's all over the place. You walk in our buildings. We've worked really hard to live by that culture. We have a lot of coaches who give a heart player of the week on their teams. And they try to, they, at the end, it only takes legs when the coaches buy into it, right? And that's been the, you know, originally it was just like, hey, here's the stuff. And it sounds really good. But we knew it started to get some legs with our coaching staff once it started to become a part of their day-to-day -day program.